Hey, what's up my fellow creatives? Adrian Boysell back here again for another video. Today, I wanna to talk about websites. I'm guessing you're either building a website or you wanna have a website built for you and you wanna know the process of how to make a great website, how a great website is built. Well, you're in luck. In this video, I'm going to cover the web design process from start to finish without missing anything and I'm gonna to try to do that in under seven minutes. All right, so let's get to it. The first step, is the discovery and the kickoff. Now this is typically done in a phone call, something I do with my clients one-on-one. -on -one. You can do this however you think is best. Sometimes I like to qualify that person first to make sure, but if they're already going to be a client, you already know you're gonna work with them, they've already agreed to things, you just need to get started with the discovery and the kickoff. So the first step of discovery and kickoff is understanding their goals. What is their story, their vision, their mission, and what are their roadblocks? And what is their 12 month goal? These are all, it's a lot of information, but these are all important pieces that you need to know without going too much in depth, their mission. What is it that they're trying to accomplish? What is their vision? Where do they see this thing being? Big, long-term, short-term, this year, next six months, getting an understanding of that is really, really important. What are the roadblocks? Every business has roadblocks. Every business has some sort of challenge, some sort of shortcoming, whether it's limiting beliefs around money or resources around money. There's always some sort of technical challenge that a business is gonna have that's going to be a roadblock. And then what is their 12 month goal? Getting a clear, definite answer of that is gonna help you determine where you need to take this client and actually creating an objective, which is what a lot of businesses miss. Now, the second part to this first phase is what is your purpose statement? The what? the how, the who, the where, the why, and the when. These are all critical elements to understanding what the purpose of the brand. This is your purpose-driven brand. Your brand should have a purpose, and without answering these specific questions on a document and having a clear answer for yourself, you're really gonna struggle to create the outcome of a website that you truly need. The third phase to this, what is your offer and what are the benefits? Now, benefits are important and so are features, but a lot of people get too focused on all the features of how many pages and this and that. Focus on the benefits. What is gonna be the solution for your client? What is the outcome? What is the outcome that you want? If you're building a website for yourself, is it better portfolio? Is it more lead generation? Is it just a you know, better showcase your work. There's a lot of reasons. Trying to focus on features is not what's go what people are going to buy. You're just gonna put yourself in the same box. And then making sure that your offer that you're making on your website is irresistible. We call that a lead magnet. You need to spend the time up front and make the investment to actually create a lead magnet that is going to get their name, their email, their phone number, their contact, whatever that looks like for you, whatever your goal is, you wanna make sure that you have an offer that is irresistible, some sort of introductory offer. Now the last phase of this, and this is extremely important, you do not wanna skip this, is the inspiration, the look and feel of the website. You wanna find out what it is that they like about their current website, if they have one currently, and what websites that they like that are in their industry. A lot of people that I've worked with in the past, it's like, well, can't you just pull the content from that website? Because they found a website that they liked. It's not the content of the website that they like, it's the overall look and feel and how everything comes together and the story that they're telling because they probably have a more unique brand than what you currently have or what your client currently has and that's why they like that website. So you really wanna get into the weeds on this with them to understand what is it they like and what they don't like about these websites. So I'm curious, how many hours do you think a good website or a great website takes to build? In building over 500 websites in my career, I've been able to assess these questions based on facts over and over again, all the websites we build, how long it takes. Put your guess, your best guess down below in the comments and whoever guesses, I'll announce you and give you a shout out in my next video. All right, so the next phase to this, this is really important, is your hosting, your content management system or CMS and your theme setup. This is where everything's gonna start to come together. This is where you start building the website. A lot of designers like to do wireframes, for me, I've just done so many websites at this point. I think that's a waste of time. I think it's a wasted effort. We have a certain amount of wireframes that have already been designed that we see that are proven, that are proven to work. I like to go with the least path of resistance and follow the things that are working. And we have over a hundred different themes that we can use and really narrowing that in is an important piece. So the first thing that we do, the CMS setup, which is, like I said, the content management system can be WordPress, Webflow, Weebly, Wix, doesn't matter what it is, but you're gonna need time to set that up. The second piece of this is the theme setup, making sure that you have a good theme that actually matches the brand that you can then go in there and completely customize to make it unique with their colors, their logos, their photography, their content. That's what makes the website unique. It's not the theme itself. The theme is just going to give you a good layout that will work 
for your type of business, whether it's e-commerce or service-based, there's different themes for different types of industries. Or the second to last piece of this is the plugin setup. You gotta make sure you install all of your plugins, whether it's on any other platform, you gotta have the right plugins, whether it's a chat plugin, uh, SEO plugins, there's all different types of plugins that you wanna install on your website, and you don't wanna skip that step because some of these are gonna help you out a lot and keep your site from being hacked like security plugins. And then the last one here in this phase is your review and approval with your team and with your clients. Now, this is something you really need to take seriously. You wanna go over it with your client to make sure that they give the thumbs up before you go any further so you're not wasting any more time. All right, so what brought you to this video? I'm really curious if you're building a website for yourself or you're building a website for someone else. Let me know down in the comments what brought you to this video and has it been helpful for you so far? Now that we're there, I wanna be able to get to this last piece, which is critically important where a lot of people shortchange this, so I wanna put a little bit of extra time as we're wrapping this up, and that's your content optimization and the launch of your website. You gotta make sure that you have all of your content ready in an external document, like a Word document or a Google document. You wanna make sure that you have all your content ready to go for every single page, and you're gonna import all of that content. That's phase one. Phase two is optimizing all of your content and making sure that it's structured correctly, the paragraphs are right, that you're linking certain pages to other pages, that you're doing the SEO properly on that. And then the last piece is optimizing the website itself, where you're optimizing the speed and the, and the accessibility and the readability and the, lay, the layouts and just making sure that your image tags and everything is correctly done, that your images are the right size, and all that stuff. These are things that you don't wanna shortchange, you don't wanna shortcut. You gotta make sure you do it. And then the, the last phase, once all that's done, aside from the bug testing and things like I talked about in the optimization, is the final approval and the launch of the website. Upon your final approval, you're gonna work with your client to actually make sure that there's no changes. You're gonna make whatever last changes you have, and then you're gonna need to set up your tracking so that you, when you go to launch that website, you know who's visiting what page, how many pages they're viewing, how long they're staying on the site, and you could even set up advanced tracking to see how far they scroll, what they click on, how many times they click on it. These are all important pieces to building a website, and that is the website design process. If this was helpful for you, please throw a big thumbs up, throw a big subscribe on this, that would be an awesome thing for me. And then if you'd like to have your own website built by us, or you wanna just have me help you build your website, I'm gonna put a link down in the description that you can click on. If you're a good fit for us and you're approved, then you and I will hop on a call and we'll talk about what your website could look like and should look like. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Adrian Boysell, and as always, keep looking up.